Hey, what's going on, guys? This is a tutorial, and we're going to talk a little bit about machine and tuning. There is no way to tune anything in machine. I hate that very, very much. But I have something for y'all. And, and to me, to be honest, um, I found it. I was watching a couple of YouTube videos, and it was a guy. He was always tuning his side. He was always tuning his uh instruments with this one instrument he had in fl studio and i actually tried the demo of fl studio and it's an awesome demo and it's very awesome i i say i didn't like it at first about eight years ago i mean six seven years ago but now today i mean i could actually i could actually run it standalone but enough talking about that first thing i did was um uh side chained and tune my 808s in fl studio and they gave me an idea and i was like how can you tune any sample in any daws and only thing that really came up was edison i mean edison was the best thing to do with uh with tuning the sample so i'm gonna i'm gonna pull up a I'm gonna pull up this uh, new f uh, new image. So uh, we're gonna record our we're gonna record some sounds, and then we're gonna tune our samples. So the how we do this was downloaded the standalone version of uh, Edison on it on the FL Studio website. Uh, you'll find it under download somewhere. Just um, I'm gonna try to leave a link at the bottom. If not, you, I mean, it's at flstudio.com. I mean, you can't forget that. So, um, what I was doing was uh, tuning my sample. So, I would load in Edison as I got it right here. And I would press record because this is the demo. I can't get all the sounds on there and that's going to start uh, spitting out noise. So, I just need one second. So, we're going to use that one second right now. Record. Okay, that was a good sample. So we're gonna right click that, and make sure it's in sample, in tune. We're gonna right click, um, go down to regions, and after regions, you wanna go to detect pitch regions, and it says it says it's at a B two now, um, which I I can understand that, but um, it says it's at a B two, and how we would do that was go and um, we will go to our mapping mode and we'll go to the root key and we will change that to B2. Easy and if I can get it on there, B2. B2. All right, all right. Come on, B. Come on, B. Okay, I could have actually wrote that by double clicking and putting B2, but okay, we got B2. And our sample is tuned. So we're going to uh, right click. It's not right click. Yeah, we're going to right click and we're going to go to new. And we're going to make a new slate. Um, and we're going to put this clap in. So we're going to go to our keyword mode. We hit the golden three key. And we'll record that. So we're going to record it and hit the key. All right. Sorry, I got a call. Uh, we're going to right click. And we're going to go to detect pitch regions. And it says it's at C0. So it's perfectly tuned. And we're going to go and see if it's on a C. Any C. Any C will do. Because you can actually octave up and down semitone on your keyboard, whatever. Uh, you can actually octave up and down on your keyboard to find the 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 tuning for your music after you tune your sample we're gonna try 808 too we're gonna right click new record the 808 all right we're gonna right click regions detect pitch regions it's got it at a c3 so this is perfectly tuned it says c uh, the root is at C sharp, but now I put it at C3, so you got that. 
So you're tuned on there, and we're going to do the kick just for the kicks. Okay, so we're going to hit uh, right click, new. So this only take you like a couple of seconds. I mean, if you did this in another DAW, I mean, it'll probably take you long because you probably have to open that DAW. But th by running this as standalone, this is perfect for what I, what I do in machine. I just want to tune the sample. I don't want to make love to the sample. I just want to tune it. So uh, we're going to hit the kick. All right, we stopped it and we right click regions, detect pitch region, C2, bam. We go to our mapping mode, look around, we got it on a C. As long as it's on a C, it doesn't matter. Just as long as it's on a C, you can always octave down, up and down on your keyboard. This is one of my quick tips. I know it probably took a little longer than I expected, but um, this is one of them tips you might need one of these days. So thank you for listening and OBS out.